Agatha Phillip up. Exchanges the passes with Lauder. That allows the movement. Fulton with lots of space. Slips in Chinchia. Down on the goalkeeper. And she finishes superbly. And that is the first goal just before the hour. And it's that one pass that cuts Spartans open. And Priscilla Chinchia makes no mistake with the finish. Glasgow City 1, Spartans nil. It's a fantastically well-worked goal and the timer of Chinchia's run and the finish is, is, is excellent, Stuart. It's Priscilla Chinchia's eighth goal in all competitions. We mentioned she had only scored the one in the SWPL Cup before today. That was against Glasgow women. But that's a big, big goal for Glasgow City and Chinchia. As Glasgow City go looking to add to their lead. Here is Dodds. Mullins overlap. She receives, drills it over. And that one creeps into the net. Lauder sliding in front of the Spartans goalkeeper and gets the important touch to stab it. And it's a double, a quick fire double from Glasgow City. 2 0. What a way to make an impact, right? <laughs> Tyler Dodds in the centre of the involvement on the right wing, exchanging it with Julia Mullen. It's a great delivery by Mullen in behind that back line and Haley Lauder just peels off. I think it's Lisa Ryan and the finest of touches sees it into the back of the net. And Glasgow City who are going forward. Dodds looking for Chinchia. She gets the finish. It's cute. It's lovely from Priscilla Chinchia. And that is her second in the semi-final. It's Glasgow City's third. And that books Glasgow City's place in the 2021 SWPL final. And again, it's a similar pattern of play down that right-hand side. Ball comes in behind and it's a delightful execution and a finish by Priscilla Chinchia. A lovely cross. Chinchia watched it all the way. And she had to adjust to get into the position to tuck it into the net. That's exactly what she pulled off. A lovely finish. His pass won't reach Tolan, but Wellings will take over. Jacinta. Now Amy Gallagher. Quick return from McGregor. Coyle has it. Adams looking to use the ball quickly. Alexa Coyle. Has a look into the area. McGregor spreads it. Boyle smacks it. Oh, what a goal from Rachel Boyle. It was a perfect pass to step onto. And with just over 10 minutes played, Hibernian take the lead at Celtic nil. Hibernian won. It's fantastic channel play by young Ailey Adams and Alexa Coyle there. And good patience, you know, to, to wait on that right moment. They've moved the ball around the exit, edge of the box. And, yep, it's probably the player that you would want on it to strike from there. Rachel Boyle, who we spoke about how important um, earlier on today she would be. She caught it so sweetly. There's the wing play that Pauline speaks of. The pass from Adams to Coyle. And the Bernian didn't rush. And there's that sweet strike from Boyle high into the top left corner. Immediate attack from Charlie Wellings. Back it goes. Lifted over towards Bowie. Boyle missed the header. Gavin has touched to the keeper. Shen and Chloe Craig can't get a hold of it. Celtic do have it, Olivia Chance, Jacinta on that right foot again and it creeps into the net and Celtic have hit back right away in the second half, Jacinta cutting in and striking the ball beyond Gabby English in the Hibernian goal and we do have a game on our hands in the second half, Celtic 1, Hibernian 1. Just in those early seconds, it just looked like Hibernian were just struggling to, to clear their lines. And, you know, that's what happens. You know, it's a, sh it's a strike from outside the box. And we see the sh Jacinta trying to set up onto her right foot a lot of the time. But she's executed that fantastically. And I think either Gabby English sees it late or she should do better, sure. She's definitely looking like a player on form um, today for Celtic, Stuart. She's been enjoying a run of games. Started the last five and scored two in that run in the league before today. Here's balls off Bartle. Hibernian have to clear. 
Bartowaza again sets up McGovern and might fall for Wellings and it goes and Celtic have turned it around with only 10 minutes remaining in the semi-final and it's Charlie Wellings they've relied on her so much this season so far has she scored a big goal in the semi-final it's Celtic 2 Hibernian 1 you know, it's untidy, it's last-ditch defending for me there in terms of the, the way that Hibs are trying to clear their own lines, but what a fantastic finish by Charlie Wellings. It's four goals and four SWPL Cup matches this season. It's her 15th in all competitions. That striking rate just continues, and Gabby English had no chance with that one. Lifted high into the roof of the net.